yeah, it's been fixable, and we haven't done it yet. And, you know, it's, uh, mainly the penalties that have killed us on third down. Um, we couldn't get off the field. And then, again, a couple blown coverages. Um, so it is frustrating when it's fixable things, you know. Um, makes it makes it hurt worse. Um, last week was a really good week of practice, honestly. We had a good week. Um, so now it's taking it from the from practice and then carrying it out to the field. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I know for me, it hits me right at home, man. Um, he wants it just as much or more than any any of us on the team. And that's part of the problem, you know. I mean, I, I guys played hard today. That's that's that wasn't it, you know. Um, we just have to. Like he says, we need a bunch of guys that love football, and that's what gets you through tough times like this, man. It's not easy. It's no one wants to lose. It's it's really hard. But if we're if we're gonna change the way this season is going, then we need guys that love football and want to go out there every day and work their work their butt off. What's the safety? Areas, but do most penalties? Is there a common thread for what You know, it's it's kind of hard to say when. When they haven't seen them on film and stuff, um, sometimes it's effort blocking the backs, stuff like that. That's just crazy, you know. I mean, there's a technique that we teach on how to avoid that. So don't do it. Don't be lazy and push the guy in the back instead of doing the technique you're supposed to, you know. Stuff like that. Um, and then the other stuff is just discipline, you know, late hits and hits on the quarterback. You got to be smart around the quarterback no matter what, even if it is, you know, you, you just got to be smart. So. Yeah, no doubt. You know, that's a pretty good offense over there. Quarterback was throwing it around well and had good backs, so you can't give them extra downs. And that's anyone that we're, that we're going to play this year. You know, you do that, you give them extra opportunities, and you're shooting yourself in the foot. The switch in your body when you turn the switch off on a play and don't, don't rely yourself to make a stupid mistake. How do you do that? Um, you know, it's not easy. I think I think it goes back to having discipline in everything you do in your life, honestly. Um, the guys who are disciplined and going to class and getting to meetings on time and going to every meal are the guys usually doing the right things. You know, and I'm not saying that's the case in every penalty that we've had by any means. Um, but it definitely starts with that. It's hard, man, and I I know the guys feel the same way. Um, but all you can do is is try and get to a new level. I'm I I myself have not played up to the standard that I hold myself to the last couple of games for sure. I need to have more of an impact. And as a captain and as a leader and a guy that these guys look up to, I have to find a way to impact the game more. And that's something that I'm going to be busting my tail to do this week in practice. What's something needs to happen to get more takeaways? You know, I think just being more conscious of it. And, and we haven't capitalized on a couple opportunities that we've had. You know, on um, the tip ball, I didn't really see. It was early in the game. I couldn't really see what happened from where I was at. but. You know, when you got guys flying to the ball, good things happen. And the ball gets tipped up like that, you got to take advantage of it. Um, and then just converting those things. You know, we've had a couple hands on balls, stuff like that, um, but just haven't finished it off. Yeah. Um, I myself was terrible, to be honest. I had brutal. I mean, I, I have to do a much better job, especially when we lean on me as a pass rusher. Um, there's no excuses, and I got to find something that works, and I'm I'm going to do that. Honestly, they did do a good job. Um, I thought they did a good job with their backs, chipping them, and then and then you know I know for myself they had a tight end over me a lot of times, um, which is no excuse. I got to find a way to get around that, but um, they did do a good job. You got to give their offensive line credit. <laughs> Yeah.
it is frustrating, no doubt. But it, as um, as a defender, you can't you can't ever let it go down, you know. And, and I think I think that is one thing that we've done well is even when those things have happened, we've continued to play hard and and do everything we can to to get off the field, you know. And it didn't happen every time, but um, I am proud of the guys and the way they responded after penalties like that.